what's up you guys and uh, welcome back to another house update vlog so we painted the living room we're gonna put up the tv right now so it's right there we gotta dust it and everything but we also got the mantle i'm gonna show you guys close-ups of everything the bathroom is almost 100 percent complete so i will show you that and then some lights went up inside my filming room so i'm gonna show you guys that too i think that's kind of oh and then one of the the cutout inside the bar area got closed up so i will update you guys on that why we closed it up but let's get into showing you guys the good stuff shall we so we painted it the white velspar which is white which is a tad bit of gray and as you guys can see you can kind of see just a slight difference um i'll go ahead and film like a regular vlog another day and show you guys how it looks actually in the daylight but i think we're gonna end up maybe in may or june just completely taking these down and putting up some um drapes and just kind of it was so bright when we had them down when we painted we just loved it so we still have to put like our area rug and everything and then um this cap down here that our contractor put on doesn't fit so he's going to get another one but he just wanted to cap it just for right now so nobody got hurt so the sofa still needs to come back and we still we need to go shopping and stuff but it just looks so much better and then doesn't it just look so much brighter oh, i love it i love it i love it so then we got the mantle done and again he went ahead our contractor built this out and this is what we used for around the door trim so we wanted something that was really clean and but we wanted it to also match the baseboard so the baseboard is a lot thicker like wider and this one is just a thinner one so we had him put it upside down just for the simple fact for like christmas time when i put um the stocking holders i didn't want it to start damaging um this part down here so i just wanted it to be just nice and squared off but we absolutely love it. I know I say absolutely love it like in every single video, but we just do. So um, if you're not following me on Instagram, that's where you guys get sneak peeks. It's down below. I went ahead and posted a picture of this this morning. So I'm filming this Thursday night, 7.30. You guys will be seeing this Friday. So as soon as I'm done here, I have to go ahead and edit this. Let me take you over here. So this was the funky like little cutout inside the bar area and we ended up having him just close it off because the people that went ahead and did the cutout didn't do it structurally correct. So it would have been a lot more work to make that work versus just closing it up and calling it a day. So that's exactly what we did. So I figure it would be a really cool spot to hang um, a picture or something right there. He will be back Wednesday to finish up the flooring um, in the bar there's little miles and we're gonna end up switching out these lights so that it doesn't come off yellow but we got the toilet in go ahead and put this down and it's like soft closing which is so nice so we got the toilet in we still have to paint um, but there's a pedestal sink he's freaking out you're okay <laughs> you're okay so we did the pedestal sink which we just love this was a special order from Lowe's Lowe's <laughs> um, so that looks really really cool we love having the pedestal sink we just feel like it makes it look so much bigger and brighter um, we ended up switching out the head the shower head to a square so we love that we had him put in a new light. Um, this is a new vanity as well. And so there's that. He just installed that today. And then here's the mirror. You guys let me know if I should have a bigger mirror. I kind of feel like if we take this out, this will go in my filming room. 
but like should we be getting a bigger mirror that kind of comes down a little bit more what do you guys think longer mirror or keep the mirror i don't know to us it kind of looks just a tad bit too small so i think we do need to find a bigger one but i told my husband don't return it this can go inside my filming room but that is how all that is looking we still have to put the toilet paper holder towel holder and then um the actual bath towels on here oh and do you guys remember how there was like that big old gap what are you eating do you guys remember when there was like a big old gap right here because the wall wasn't straight so the tile guys put the tile straight it's all level completely level but yet there was like a huge huge um grout line going up well the contractor is so stinking good that he kind of meshed in the wall to make it look like it was seamless kind of like floated it just a little right there inside the corner and now you cannot even tell i mean this guy is good cannot even tell so loving 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 this now are you guys ready for the lights in my filming room <sighs> so these lights are actually leds um and boy do they make a difference so it is completely dark outside and look how bright the camera is i cannot help but to look in the the, the viewfinder i mean honestly this looks so good so that just means once my filming room is set up i can come in here and i can film at night with just these lights if i wanted to and this is how it's gonna be at nighttime. I do have studio lights that I could set up if I wanted to, but I don't even know if I need to. Cause I am gonna end up putting like a chandelier down the center as well. So that's gonna be additional lights. But these LEDs are crazy good. So I think we're gonna end up switching out the LEDs throughout the entire house. Um, not right now. After all this, everything is pushed and paused until we can go ahead and gain our funds a little bit more. So I'm gonna come out of there just because it is a little echoey, but that is it. So you guys see the difference between here in my filming room, night and day. I cannot wait until the whole house is switched over to LEDs, like maybe night and day compared to the, the filming room so good so my husband's putting up the tv right now and i think that is all the updates for today again don't forget to follow me over on instagram because that is where you guys are going to be getting all the sneak peeks especially once we start shopping for home decor and stuff like that you guys know that our color before was this like teal and now i want to go more towards the like is it the cobalt blue ish so that's kind of the color tones that we're going to be going towards i'm trying to think if there's any questions that i've been getting a lot of that i can answer real fast and i've been getting a lot of what color is this color paint again valspar and the color is white valspar so the brand valspar color white valspar um other than that oh and then i got a lot of questions on the last go around on the chandelier in the dining room and that chandelier is from house um so i will go ahead and link that down below for you guys as well um, but i got a lot of questions on that so in private messages and everything but that thing is just beautiful so that is it for the house update today i will go ahead and check in with you guys next week next week i'm going to go ahead and put up a vlog and everything so i'll go ahead and get the living room in daylight so you guys can see how bright and airy it actually looks but that is it for me if you have any questions leave them down below i'll go ahead and answer them follow me over on instagram and until next time we will see you guys on the next one bye you guys